The boy is a troubling area in Gloomhaven, a vast, barren expanse of black sand amid the bustling streets of the city. No one enters its perimeter. On a trip to the university, however, you see a young girl playing near the edge of the void. Before you, before you can warn her, she trips and falls onto the sand. She immediately emits a blood-curdling scream and begins to tear at her skin. Uh, okay, run to the girl and attempt to pull her out of the void. Watch what happens with morbid curiosity. Hmm. My, my fear here is that we do not have an Eister with us. So I feel like attempting to pull her out of the void might not be a, a good thing. Though I feel like it's something we need to do, right? Watch what happens with morbid curiosity. No. No, we can't we can't do that. So this might hurt, but I think we have to go for it. You get the child off the sand as quickly as you can, but it doesn't do much good. The girl screams and screams no matter what aid is administered. Uh well, we tried. Hello friends, welcome back for some more Olympus is chosen. So as you can see here, Athena has leveled up. That's because, uh, as somebody quite rightly pointed out to me, that Apate is still with us and we don't want that. We, I mean, she's been great, but we need to move on. We need to get her retired. And so what I did was I had to take on a second different uh, scenario in the Lingering Swamp, and there are only two. She already did Decrepit Wood. But she never did Forgotten Crypt. So I went back to Forgotten Crypt. And this was actually the one that we had to protect Hale. Uh, I, I needed to do this one twice. Because the first time Hale, I left her in our dust. And she got swarmed by cultists and living bones. And I had to start over because of that. So it was interesting to do it again. With such a high level group. And I recorded it but uh, not as the usual kind, as the uh, quick and dirty kind. And I will post it to the end of this episode if you're interested in watching it. Um, so, and then of course I spent a lot of gold too. Let's go through all of that and kind of a change of plans. Last time I had discussed some of the options and a couple people had chimed in, but I think it's best that we try to get a party to um, to retire so that we can move on uh, with our with our uh, core quest and our and my personal goal to see all of the classes before uh, ending a series. So my my. Uh, a little change of plans here. What we're going to do is continue on for uh, Apati's goal. That right now is uh, we've already completed two different scenarios in the Lingering Swamp. Then we have to unlock Faded Lookout, which is what we've done. And we have to follow it to conclusion. It says two of three now. So what that means um, is what we're going to do is go to the fading lookout this uh, scenario this episode and there's one more step after that we'll find out what that is at the end of the scenario and we'll follow it to conclusion next time that will get rid of Apati or retire Apati it will be sad to see her go but she does need to go she's been at level 9 for a few scenarios now so it will be good to see her go. And then we'll bring in somebody new. Um, we'll have Apollo and Athena. They'll surely be retiring in the next uh, maybe 10 scenarios, I think. Yeah, Apollo needs to do uh, seven more scenarios at the very least. 
and Athena needs to do at least 11. Okay. Um, unless we can get her to do a couple uh, two point, two perk point battle goals. All right. Anyway, without further ado, let's go through Athena's level up and what I spent the money on for everybody. Got some pretty exciting things here. So, leveling up to seven. Burning Hatred. Attack three, target all adjacent enemies. Nice. Uh, with fire consumed, target all enemies up to two hexes away instead, meaning adjacent and two hexes away. Uh, this is a 40 initiative. Move uh, the bottom ability, move three, wound target all adjacent enemies. Okay, that sounds pretty good. The other choice is careless charge for an initiative of 20. Move three on the top ability, uh, top of action here. Attack four, wound self and all adjacent allies to add push to immobilize. Interesting. Okay. Meaning, you know, she runs into the fight. If anybody's adjacent to that target, then she's going to hurt herself and everybody else as long as uh, just to have the ability to push them away. This doesn't mean she has to do this, of course, but to be able to push two into a trap or two, that would be pretty helpful. And then to immobilize. So if it's a melee attacker, she could run up, push them away, and immobilize them. We don't have to worry about that attack. That's pretty cool. The bottom ability is you are immune to all negative conditions. Wow. Wow. Okay, that one's a tough one. Burning Hatred, I thought maybe would be a good one to take. And it would be my understanding that... Um, we'd have a couple ways of attacking all of the adjacent enemies, but to be able to have the, uh, to have the ability to attack two hexes away as well is really cool. Or run up and wound. And then the other one, to be able to move and attack and maybe move again, move and heal. Well, actually... This would work really well with Careless Charge because she could run up, make that attack four, wound herself, maybe maybe hope to not wound her allies, and then use Bounce Back to move three and heal that wound off immediately. We wouldn't have to worry about that wound. That sounds cool. I'm taking Careless Charge. I'm going to take Careless Charge because I feel like that move and attack on the top ability to be able to move away after, maybe move and pull uh, some, uh, be able to move and then make attacks again against a bunch of different enemies or maybe the same enemy again. Having this, oh yeah, yeah, careless charge. Being able to pair that with uh, with shiny distraction or devil horns is pretty great. To be able to move up, attack four, push them, maybe don't push them, and then use devil horns to make another attack four. Or take shiny distraction, gain advantage, so that when she runs up, makes that attack of four with advantage, and then pushes them, oh yeah, there's, there's there's good combinations uh, for bottom abilities with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to get rid of, though. We'll come back to this here in a moment. And... I think I'm going to take the Subdue in this case. So no matter what she pulls, this is going to be helpful. Okay. Okay. And I don't think anybody else picked up a perk point. Nope. All right, let's go through. You might have seen this as I was going through. One of the things that I spent money on for Athena was a plus one to retaliate. I felt like it was a good thing to, since we're going for retaliate, 
I feel like Resolute Stand is a good one. Move and Retaliate. I, I, any ability that moves and performs some other action is really strong. So I, I feel like keeping these around are good. I haven't used it for this top ability yet. There might be uh, an opportunity for that. We'll just we'll just have to see. But I definitely, when I use this, I definitely want to be um, and with advantage. So I'd probably want to go with Shiny Distraction and Resolute Stand so that I can hit with advantage for that major hit. So I think that was the only enhancement I gave her. And I'm thinking of dropping Numb the Pain for Careless Charge. I think I'm going to do that. I like, I've been using this bottom ability, move three, take a couple damage to stun someone. I think that's really good. Uh, I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it, but bounce back to be able to move and heal, even if it's just a little bit. But it's going to work really well with this one, so I feel like having that move and heal is strong. Uh, also having that way to retaliate. If she's disarmed, uh, we can still use that retaliate. I, I like this ability because it brings him fire. And Strength and Agony, I have a really hard time getting rid of this ability card for her. So I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I did, however, spend a bit more money on getting that spiked shield. So there we go. Now we have another way to pair maybe with the Swordage Armor for Retaliate. This will give her Shield 1 and Retaliate 2 for the attack, and we'll be able to use this time and time again after a long rest. Okay. Uh, Apollo. Apollo, I discussed this recently. Well, okay, one thing I did was I put Solid Bow, a plus one on Solid Bow. for make. Now it's an attack of four at range five, that's pretty great all by itself. Uh, range 5 is fantastic. I was kind of going back and forth on how I wanted to, to spend the money on Apollo. If I wanted to spend money on Apollo um, and how to do it. But I don't need to do purchase anything. He has everything that I could ever want at this point. Uh, with things that are unlocked and available and given to him. Actually, I think we've... He's received Steam Armor and these Endurance Foot Wraps, so he's been pretty lucky at getting free gear. So I, I chose Solid Bow to put a sticker on. One, I had money left over, so why not? But I think this one's a pretty good one. An attack of four plus with a range five. I'll be able to use this since it's a move four on the bottom. Even if I don't use it for the attack, I'll still be able to heal by moving four. And the other one was, I guess that's it. I thought I had purchased another one, but maybe uh, I was thinking about putting a wound on Swift Trickery. No, not Swift Trickery, F Fresh Kill. But I think I ended up going for Solid Bow instead. And uh, because it had the move four, I think is why I was keeping Solid Bow and thinking that... Um, Fresh Kill might be the one that I drop for if he reaches level 9. When he reaches level 9. We'll have to come back to that. I don't I don't know what I'm thinking yet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Apati. Apati. This one's going to be fun. This one's more of a fun thing. Uh, putting any element enhancement with Scurry so that I can move make that attack and bring back. Now this is the reason I'm putting it on Scurry is because that's going to pair extremely well with Frozen Mind or Phantasmal Killer. I'll be able to move up and either kill that normal enemy or freeze the enemy or stun the enemy that is and then still be able to bring back that uh, ice or darkness for the next round. So this is going to pair well with anything that I have on the, the bottom of, as, a, as a bottom ability. I can use this, make an attack one, strengthen, and then go up and kill 
one of the enemies or maybe kill an enemy and then go strengthen uh, or you can move away afterwards uh, there's there's many possibilities which makes scurry good by itself but to be able to move and attack and then perform some other action um, this being now a stun or kill so I think that's just going to be really great uh, being able to bring in both was also a good choice for that one. I don't think I was able to pick up anything else for her, though. No. So, yeah. I think uh, I, I was about to choose Ice or Darkness, and I thought, hey, I've got the money. Let's just do it. Temple of the Great Oak. We've got the money. I think we should bless her. And Apollo has already been blessed. And we don't have enough money to bless Athena. All right. Onward to the map. Baiting lookout. Follow the signs to something left behind by those that came before. In the lingering swamp. A side quest. Loot all ornate chests with a loot action not ending not end of turn looting we're going to be seeing flame demons frost demon giant vipers and oozes and there are four treasure chests that we need to loot using loot actions we i think everybody now has a loot action everyone does yes so it should be pretty pretty straightforward Something is off. You stop in the middle of the road and feel a rippling in your skin. You're not sure what it is, but some strange forces are at work. There is a faint whisper on the wind, and you feel as though at any moment one step could send you plummeting off the face of the earth. Investigate further. Whatever forces are at work must be put in check. Get out of this place as quickly as you can. I am afraid of... Investigating further means we take a step and then fall. But get out as quick as we can also leads to me to believe that um, we might we might uh, lower our guards in this condition uh, in this situation. Let's investigate. Why not? Oh. Okay. Uh, you wander, wander around for a while before a massive demon suddenly appears before you, ripped from another plane. Your presence surprises it, though, and you dispatch it before it takes it, before too much trouble is caused. Each character starts the next scenario suffering one damage. At the start of the scenario, discard one card each. Okay. You knew it would be in the lingering swamp. You have a sense about these things. You didn't know what you were looking for, though, until you saw it. A small fort watching over a distant shore, calling to you with its faintly candlelit windows. You had looked away for a second to get the attention of a companion, and when you turned back to point, the fort was gone. Most people would have written off the experience, claiming they were seeing things, but you knew it was a sign. You knew you would find the fort again, and with it, the answers you seek. It took a bit of coordination, but now here you stand on the southern cliffs, overlooking the misty sea. Before you, an antiquated fort fades in and out of sight, somehow caught between two planes of existence. The building was clearly made by those who came before, you enter it without hesitation, knowing that this place's unique condition is the key to your search. You need to find some documentation of what happened here. Journals, notes, letters, any clues you can uncover. Okay. So reveal a room or take only long rests. They're both just one point. I feel like both of them are possible. So, Explorer. 
Apollo Professional or Streamliner? It seems Professional's probably one, but I'm... I mean, Streamliner, as you could tell, and, and it's hard to get rid of. I think it's pretty easy for him to get Streamliner. Let's go Professional because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use... But we need to use it eight, nine, ten times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that'll be pretty easy. Oops, professional. Apati. Loot no gold or loot a chest? Let's go for plunder because we know we'll be looting chests. Uh, everyone should be. Loot no gold seems less fun and no chest too okay so plunderer um careless charge okay i did i i thought for a minute that i forgot careless charge but i didn't so that's good because i i was considering to just head back to gloomhaven and come right back but uh that's not the case i guess we if we would have blinked then maybe we wouldn't be able to find this place again uh, okay, so we do need to drop a card, and then uh, uh, and then we can start. So I'll do I'll do all that off camera here. Um, what are we up against? We have a two elites, two normal giant vipers. That elite. Wow, we've got everything in this one room. Wonderful, an elite frost demon. Two normal flame demons, an elite, and two normal oozes. Yeah, we have one, and we've got at least one. Then we have a small corridor, a room, corridor, small room back there. All right. Interesting. Well, let's see, uh, let's see how far we can get. Round one. Okay, so basically what I was thinking with this is... If I have to discard a card, it might as well be the one that I that I use for movement. Cranium Overload, move 5. Uh, strength and Agony for that move 4 to 7. And Flight of Flame for that move of 5. So, I don't need a ton of movement in this room. I can easily just slowly inch my way across the room and that's what I'll do. But, we're starting off with... Apati at 8, Perverse Edge to bring in Darkness and Ice while stunning the uh, the Giant Viper Elite here in Mass Hysteria to start attacking everybody else, basically. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll be able to, to muddle all four of them and then stun you. Then at 9, Resolute Stand. For a move of two and retaliate two and bounce back for retaliate of two. It's retaliate of four, five, six, seven. We'll see who that's going to be. And then 25, darken the skies to get this out because I feel like it'll be a good thing. Once, once I've, uh, once somebody dies, actually, you know what? Hmm, I'm thinking maybe Fresh Kill might not be the thing to go for and instead have Swift Trickery. Swift, Swift Trickery? So we'll do that. Swift Trickery with Reign of Arrows, so that'll make that an attack of six. Yeah, we'll do it that way because I'm not sure if Darken the Skies is actually going to be useful for where he's standing back here. Alright, we'll do it that way. Okay, oozes we don't have to worry about. They're going to move and loot and heal, so let's just not worry about them. The flame demons are coming. The giant vipers are going to attack for quite a bit as long as they're standing attacking against the same target. And then the flame demon. Okay. Okay. So we will we'll still do this. 
But I'm wondering if I should use Volatile Bomb to make that hit now. Because then attack for four... I mean, it's going to be going up against this, so let's not do that. Let's let's just make sure that you're muddled at least. So we'll just do this. <laughs> Plus one, minus one. All right. That's not bad. And instead of attacking and muddling this, since it's just going to move and loot and heal, we'll just continue attacking that one. What? Okay, maybe I should be reading this. Monsters are split into two groups, oozes and giant vipers in group, group 1, flame demons and frost demons in group 2. The groups will alternate in activation, starting with group 1. Monsters that are not activated do not act for the round, and are unaffected by abilities. All mercenaries can move through hexes containing deactivated monsters, but cannot end their movement on those hexes. What? In the heck is this? So you're telling me that these guys aren't going to do anything this round. And so I can't even attack them? I have a feeling I know who designed this. Uh, I, there's just... I mean, I'll make that attack because it's the only thing I can do. All right. gonna heal too so it'll it'll still be damaged uh, nothing else to do yeah I'm I don't know I don't know how I how I feel about that but okay let's uh, let's move up confirm so that's certainly dead and bounce back. That one is probably dead too. And Amulet of Life. No, I'm gonna wait because she's gonna get poisoned, so I'll use that to get the poison off first. Okay. I think I'm gonna use this. Yeah, so I can't I can't confirm... I can't do anything to the demons. That's fine, I guess, but... Alright, I'm just gonna make some major attack against you. That's good. So that one's gonna die too, and it's attack. Uh, although you are going to get pummeled because you're standing in it. I guess if I stood back here, that first attack would have, wouldn't have been so bad. But they are going to actually be dying as they're attacking. Uh, although I'm standing next to you too. Okay. Well, oh well. So I will have a retaliate of Resolute Stand says one, but we know that that's a two. That would be really nice to, to have that there. And it's a four, so I don't want to take... I'm going to use... I guess I have to use... I'm going to use everything, I guess. He's dead anyway, so... Um, yeah, I have to do that. There's no reason to do anything else. I'm finally seeing everything. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Don't you dare touch my loot. I need to pick that up. Round two. So, this time, 
maybe I should be trying to read this on the side, but man, it... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, this time we don't have to worry about the oozes or you. Okay. Just the frost demon and these two uh, flame demons back there. Good to know. Round two. Okay, so we'll start off with Apathy again. Shared Nightmare will move. And this is a possibility. I don't think I'll need it, but it's an experience. I do need the the movement. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll use Phantasmal Killer to kill you. Uh, actually, let's go with Corrupting Embrace instead. So that she's the target. Yeah. Um, although, if she was over here, I've already counted all this out, but I, I might as well just, just have her go later. I'll use Phantasmal, or Corrupting Embrace to move. One, two, three, four, and she'll still be able to do the killing uh, just a little bit later. So we'll do that later. 21. Reckless Offensive to get the Retaliate going and Cauterize for uh, a couple attacks. I don't... I mean... I'm more or less doing this to get ready for the next round. And I wanted to bring in Reckless Offensive, and where she's standing, I'm okay with. So I don't, don't care about moving too much. 23, we'll go with Camouflage. Move 3, go Invisible, and Impending End for an attack of 4. And we'll do that against the Flame Demon back there. So my idea is... Ooh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll make the attack against you instead. We'll see. We'll see. But Im impending end, all I need to do is one damage. So if I just pull a zero, then it's going to kill it because they'll have uh, two damage or two health after. Okay, so they're just going to move. I forgot I can... Well, one thing I can do is jump, but I can walk through them if it's not their activation. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. He's going to do this again, and we don't have to worry about these. Okay. Please don't get rid of darkness. You son of a... Why didn't it get rid of ice? It's probably, um, it's almost certainly going to be, uh... Ah, now they're standing right next to her, so I'll be taking retaliation. That's nice of them. Um, it's almost certainly, uh, random. I don't think that it chose darkness because, because I was going to use it. I don't think it's that smart. Alright, well we're gonna bring in retaliate. I'm going to go heavy with Retaliation this time. Uh, I am going to use the Amulet of Life to get rid of that poison. And Cauterize. I'm just going to make that attack. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Yeah. Nice. Nice hit. Alright. Uh, minor healing, yeah, let's keep healing. Since we're going to be going for that retaliation pretty heavily this time around, I'm very excited to see it. <laughs> um, I think keeping our health up is as early as possible, as much as possible. So I'm wondering, maybe I want to bring back Resolute Stand or Bounce Back, but I also have... Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? I think I got rid of it. I don't have that... Uh... Oh no, there it is. There it is. Spiked Armor. So I can use Spiked Armor anyway. That should increase... Or that will increase uh, Reckless Offensive. Okay. Yeah. We have 
fire in. Uh, I guess we already did, but we have it so that we can use it for the next round, I hope. Uh, so let's make this attack. Ooh, I could use that, but I'll just go for this. There we go. So it's dead. And I think what I want to do... If I do this... That might block... Yeah, it will. It will. How much movement do you have? Movement of three. So one, two, three. Nope. You're going to be stuck. So this will be good. I mean, yes, I could go for all of the uh, the retaliation as I, as I want, but I still want to keep her alive too. So this will stop this from moving around is basically what the, it can't go through you. And this way, it won't go this way because uh, there's traps, so uh, she's going to be long gone. Ooh, there's traps. We'll have to think about how we can use, maybe move you right through that. Uh, but for now, no. And I just remembered that I can't use this. So I'll have it ready for the next time, I guess, is my my idea. Hmm. I mean, maybe? Let's go for it. Let's go for it with eagle eye goggles. Well, the stun won't do too much because uh, because it won't be going next round anyway. That's a shame. There. Cool. So we don't have to worry about the two demons this next round. But we do have three oozes and this. I am liking the puzzle more. At first I thought this is kind of annoying, but it's actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So I don't remember this. I don't think this happened in the last time. So this is, this one's new. I don't think I came across this one before, but my idea or my thought is here. All right, round three. So we'll start off with Athena shiny distraction for loot pick up a bunch of loot as well as shield and devil horns for an attack of four make it six against you maybe we'll be killing you probably not but uh i think the the retaliation might be doing it then 13 for apollo expose to remove some of the the shield and solid bow to make that an attack of four don't know i guess it could be anybody so maybe i'll focus on you then over here a potty at 20 scurry so we can do that thing that i was talking about frozen mind so we can move an enemy twice a move two probably one two to clear these off and then I'll jump back here one two three to kill you that sounds fun so again we don't have to worry about this they're going to suffer damage and try to split let's let's see about killing them before if we can get them down to two health that would be huge and then there's that okay we'll, we'll make the attack first Yes! 
So you will be making an attack, but at least you'll be you'll be uh, dying. And then we can grab a bunch of loot. Sixteen. Oh boy. I think I'm kind of happy with. I mean, we only have three cards, so I'm not going to use this now. I'm happy with what we've got. Uh, Pierce, we will make this attack. Because we know that this one's going to be dying anyway. Oh, come on, dude. And this one, uh, this Viper Elite is going to attack her first because she went first. And then the Retaliation will surely kill it. Uh, two, three. Okay, so I could use this to get away, though. Or to at least move somewhere. Is there a reason why I would do that? I don't think so. All right. Let's have you do the thing. This sounds great. I think they're both damage three. Four. Okay. Nice. So this one will be splitting. But that's fine. I like that we can move through them. That was nice of the designer. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Um, oh, because I didn't perform the attack. Oh no. That is a shame. So, I should have just put ice there, if that's the case. Huh. That is a shame. Well, I don't think I'll be able to use it anyway, so... Uh, yep. And I wish, right now, I wish it would say what the retaliation is. So we have Shiny Distraction is Shield 1. Oh, sorry, that's just Shield. Reckless Offensive is Retaliate 2, so I do need to use this. <laughs> right. And now I can't attack these oozes for round 4. Uh, let's see here. This one is, oh, oh, okay. So the statuses don't get impacted either because they're not activated. Nothing happens. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right back to what, what's happening. Um, seeing red spiked armor. We'll go for both of those. I'll see about. Oh, but you're stunned, so I don't need to worry all that much. And then seeing red, maybe I go for... Maybe I go for this instead, then. Let's go for that. Uh, because you are... Stunned. I don't think I really want to do too much about that. Well, here, I'll do this and this, and then I guess I'll go for multi-pronged attack and a fresh kill. I have no idea what to do. Uh, they are not doing that. They're going to suffer damage if we have that, and he's going to do the same exact thing over and over again. So what I'm going to do is just skip this attack, strengthen... I'm going to use this to hit you. 
It's an attack of three, so I just need a couple damage. Son of a... Okay. Maybe I want to bring in darkness so that I can kill one of these in the next round. Uh, I definitely want to bring in a card. Let's bring in uh, Corrupting Embrace so I can make a couple attacks. That might be cool. And I'm bringing in Ice. Should I bring in Darkness? Yeah, let's bring in Darkness. And now it's your turn. I think I'm going to do this. <laughs> I know it's stunned. I know I don't have to wor uh, worry about it, but I'd like to... I'd like to be dealing some damage. And I also know that Fresh Kill isn't doing anything, and this isn't doing anything. It's just an attack of two, but I have the poison, so... Man, I mean, I'm going to get retaliated on three, no matter what I do. <laughs> One more. One more damage. And maybe I... Because where we're standing, this is pretty bad. I don't know where to go. I think it's okay. We'll just take it. Unless I do this. That is what I'm going to do. Uh, which way do I go? Push it this way? Yeah, let's push it that way. So I'm not wounding you, at least. Nice hit. Nice hit. That was good. So I don't get the retaliate, as you can tell, because I don't, uh, because I've pushed it away. Uh, I'll use this to run over here and pick up some loot. Maybe I should be looting with him a little bit more because he's really the one that needs the loot. But he does have more than everybody else at this time, so. Uh, I think... Man, it seems like she's going to have to take a rest, so... Yeah, we'll just take the rest with her. Okay, long rest. We'll take these two cards and... Hmm. I think she's gonna jump over here. We could do one of two things here. We can... Move over and grab a shield. And then attack with a poison, and then attack and kill the other one. Or we can jump over there, like poison, poison, stay right there, or maybe go somewhere else, I don't know. And then um, make an attack three with poison and cursing. So we can make that choice when it comes. Um, either way, I can make the attacks against them or against them. So maybe... 39. Maybe we go later? And then I use Darkened Skies and Feral Instinct. Let's do it that way. Okay, nope, nope, and those are pretty annoying, 
attacks. So let's try to kill as many of those as possible. So what we'll do, one, two, three, we're, one, two, three, yeah, they're in range of all of them. So what we want to do, maybe we bring you over here. We can kill this one and then, yeah. So what we want to do is put this on the one that we're going to be killing with him, uh, with her. I'm thinking this one because she can jump and then back up and because she's strengthened she can have ranged attacks on all of them. I mean it wouldn't really matter which one I put it on, right? And then move over here and make attacks, attack three on them. So we'll put it on that. And I hope that's the one that we killed. We'll move over here and we'll make this attack. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately we can't loot anything. Do we want to take a couple cards? I don't think so. No, he's going to take a long rest next. So, how do we do this? Do we want to poison that? Yes. Yes, we do. Let's do it this way. So, you, 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 you. Okay. I was thinking maybe I should be using this, but this is still just as good. We can use this on both of them. And now you can make attacks over here against those two, and that's it. I won't be able to attack that. Oh, good. That one's dead. <laughs> and that one's stunned. That worked out really well. Oh. <laughs> and heal. We'll get rid of that poison and the wound. Now I have to get rid of a card. No, this one's tough. I don't know what card to get rid of, honestly. Uh, I, I think I need to keep this. Cauterize was kind of the one I'm thinking. But it brings in fire. That one does too. And that one does. Okay, let's drop Cauterize, I think. Because seeing red might be really helpful once she is getting really low on health. Um, I can't, I'm not going to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of this one. Nope. And nope. So, cauterize. Round six. Well, we know you're taking a long rest. We'll drop... We'll cancel that long rest. Uh, we know that you're taking a long rest. And now it's your turn to figure out what to do with these two enemies. Well, I think shiny distraction, gain advantage and disadvantage, bringing in fire. And careless charge, move over here to attack you. And then... I hope that's enough. Oh, and then I can wound you. So I'll take... No, 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 just a push. Yeah, I think that's good. Because we're going to be at advantage, I think that's good. Okay. Yep, and he's doing it again. Funny. So he's... This thing over here will attack her and then we'll die. Uh, oh, I could move over here. One, two, three. I 
I think I need to move away like over here. Uh, one, two, three versus one, two, three. Yeah, I need to get closer to the door. I'm realizing now that we don't need to be in here killing all the enemies. All we have to do is just figure out who's going to be attacking and then the other one is not. So we can just kind of skirt past them. We need to get through this and find those uh, those chests. That's all we need to do. We don't need to be standing here killing everything. So we'll still do it. At least in this first one. Uh, I'm not going to take a wound for this. Okay. Come over here. Uh, okay, well, that... And I'm not going to use the spiked shield because she has retaliate two and now the sword edge armor is three, which is enough to kill it. Though it's not showing it, it's, it is enough to kill it. So a heal, that does put her in kind of a low amount of Oh, it's more than I was expecting, actually. But we, yeah, we do need to get moving. I'm thinking Rain of Arrows, we'll drop Rain of Arrows. Um, end your turn. And heal. We need those two. Ah, oh, we have ice to walk into the next room. That's nice of them. Oh man. Uh, hostile takeover? This would be... <laughs> Again, I really want to use this. Let's drop Mass Hysteria. These are all very small rooms. I'm going to drop Mass Hysteria. Okay. And her turn, round seven. So we'll start off with Athena. Going at 31, we use Strength and Agony for a movement of 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to use the 4. And then Devil Horns. Maybe I'll take one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That might be the better thing. Maybe I'll take two. We'll think about it. Uh, so that I can get into that room. We'll also be opening the door for Explorer. That gives her the perk point for her... Uh, personal quest and uh, battle goal. Then at 35, Feral Instinct for a move 2, attack 3, and loot. 1, 2, attack 3, loot whatever's here, and then Flight of Flame to just get away. If you're dead, great. If you're not, well, that sucks. Uh, then 39, Corrupting Embrace for move 4, Poisoning. Uh, bringing in darkness we can still use darkness for our night blade but i'm bringing in frozen mind so that i can stun to use that ice element there and then i can use scurry to continue with that ice over and over again uh which will be nice right okay so yeah there this thing's going to be killing itself we just need to do a couple damage to it uh, one or two, and then it will die anyway. So let's take two damage oh. so that I know I'll be able to get far uh, far enough in if I need to. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Okay, um, you don't have your loot... No, you don't. And then there's, of course, a trap in the way. What's it? Come on. Six damage. All right. Well, here we go. I'm just going to go there. And we'll skip that. And I will use the Amulet of Life. That gets me up to health of 10. Which is half 
less than half of 22. I'm thinking of using this so that I can get these two cards right back. I'm a little afraid of this because undo. Uh, because I don't have, I just have this heal one. And if I take, if she's the one that takes six damage on that, that's pretty painful. But I'm wondering what else I could really do here. Because I don't, I don't have anything that will be able to, to disarm it. Uh, the only other option is you. One, two, three, four. I think you're going to jump into this corner and just loot this whole thing anyway. Oh, man. Well, I'm not going to use it because I have a move of three over there. So instead of doing this, because she doesn't have anything either, uh, I'm going to just go take care of this. This thing's going to, to do whatever it wants to do. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, confirm. Heal. Heal up a little bit. That's nice. And then Feral Instincts will go over here. Skip and confirm. So it's one of the chests. He's picked up enough loot. That's good. Uh, I could go Ring of Haste 24689, which might be helpful for like a fresh kill. Or 1, 2, 3, I could go... I could go with Wild Command to get rid of that trap. Maybe it's him that needs to, to just get rid of that trap. Because I don't have another jump other than fresh kill. One, two, three. But I think he needs to get rid of the trap, doesn't he? So let's do it. Ring of Haste. A lot of movement here. But Wild Command... Ouch. Skip the attack. And we can maybe use that later. We'll we'll think about what we want to use for empowering talisman. There. A lot of movement from him. That's that's pretty nice. Now it's your turn. At least we can get all the way into here, that's good. Uh, skip the rest of the movement and we'll get frozen mind ready anyway. What a bummer. I mean, honestly, it's it's fine that we don't have any enemies in here, but I was ready to take on as much enemy as many enemies as I could and uh, sometimes when there's no enemies, it it kind of sucks. All right. So what we need to do this room, it's unfortunate there's a lot of loot back there, but I couldn't wait anymore. We need to use mount bounce back, and I think I'm just going to use the, uh, let's see here, one, two, three. We'll use, mm, we'll use that, but I do need to go faster with you so that I can get out of the way. So let's use swift trickery. And maybe ca camouflage. And then for you, let's go really late. I'll get Phantasmal Killer ready again. And then I'll go in with uh, Cranium Overload. Because now we have this. We're just going to be skipping our... Uh... Yeah, I'll leave it up for now. Let's see what's behind the door before we decide what we do with that. So... The oozes went last turn, so oozes and vipers we don't have to worry about. I'm glad there's something on the map to give me a hint to what I'm supposed to do, or to, to remember. Because if I was opening this door and there were zero enemies on the, on the map, I wouldn't know what to do. So once again, I don't know... It would be good to say a number right here. Group 1, group 2, group 1, group 2. But... There, there really needs to be more cues on when things are happening. So what we're going to be seeing is 
uh, they are not doing anything, and it's the demons that we have to worry about. So that's going to shield two and move five. And then that's going to just make an attack from where it is. One, two, three, four for uh, a big an attack like this. It's not going to see around the corner, but if I don't move out of the way, then it's going to move here and then we're screwed. If I do move out of the way, oh, sorry, the other way around. Yeah, so I need to stay where I am to go invisible. That way I can I can uh, freely walk out with the uh, Berserker. And then this attack will just go against this. <laughs> well, fair enough. And that'll do. Okay. Berserker's turn. Heal. That puts me at half of our half of her healing, uh, half of her health. But we'll be taking more damage. Don't you worry. We'll skip that attack. Like right now, actually. And. I feel like it's probably a good idea to take some, yeah, because we're about to have these five enemies attacking in the next round, so maybe I want to take a couple cards back, like those two. So we'll go Shiny Distraction for that bottom ability and Careless Charge for that top ability again. That way, mm, one, two, three. It's not late enough, is it? Well, I guess I can move over here to make that attack. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. That will that'll help her defensively. Ah. I was thinking maybe I could be killing, but nope, that's not the case. Does it not have line of sight? I don't think that's true at all, yeah. Definitely has line of sight to attack you. So I think this is one of those things, like... One, two, three, four. It can't target this hex because there's an... An... Uh, 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 an invisible um, mercenary there. So because it can't target this hex or a wall, then it wasn't able to attack her. It definitely should have attacked. That's There's a bug there. Oh, it doesn't have fire. Never mind. Never mind. That's not a bug at all. It doesn't have fire. If it had fire, then it would have been able to make that attack. But I wonder if it would have, because it can't target this hex. Uh, well, anyway. We don't have to worry about you, because this. She's in a very bad place there, so I'm wondering... I should probably... Drop Phantasmal Killer so that I can use that action. Uh, the um, move to and go invisible. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Okay, so I have to do... This is really annoying. <laughs> End the turn. Ah, son of a... That's super annoying. I can't cancel this while that was up and then I ended the turn instead of restart... Oh. 
Okay, round nine. Okay, let's see if I can pick up the pieces here, and I think I've got something pretty cool. So we're going eight, shiny distraction, careless charge for what I had talked about before. I'm not going to go for the... Well, I did think about this, but since we're having four attacks, uh, sorry, five attacks, five enemies here, I didn't really want to just line up for, let's see, like some uh, retaliation. Let's go in and, and try and deal a lot of damage quickly. And then we can run out of this room even faster. So, my bad about you. So sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna... We'll do that. And then 9. Hostile Takeover. I'm going to force this Elite Viper to join our side for the turn. I finally am going to use it. Let's, let's see if I can actually use it. Uh, if it's going to work out. I think it will because they will have... Uh, the three of them are just going to fight each other. So they're not going to move. As long as I go earlier, that is. Uh, they're not going to move. They're just going to hit each other. And this one's going to poison. I think they're all... Yeah, they're all going to poison each other and hit each other. That should be... That could be fun. Yeah, you do have poison too. Okay. And then Corrupting Embrace for a couple attacks against them. Against maybe just one of them, but... Hmm... Yep. And then 25, darken the skies with an attack of 3, target all enemies within range 3, and fresh kill to get into place. Uh, he's gonna come over here, I think. Uh, 1, 2, 3, and then we can make an attack against all of the oozes. We just have to... Yeah, I gotta find a place. I'm not sure where that's gonna be yet, but anyway. We'll go with this. Oh, good. This is gonna be great. Yep. And they're going to... Well, these guys are dead. That's nice. And then we've got these two summoning. And we don't have to worry about you. Okay. So I'll, I'll still use this. We don't, she's not going to be taking any damage this turn, that's good. And then move three, we'll have you move up to here. Or should I, no, actually let's do that. Yep, because then the, the wound, well it will be against you. Skip. Oh, do we? I don't... Yeah, I need to wound myself for the push. And I'm going to push it back here. See, why can't I undo? Hmm. I, I don't... I don't like the undo system in this game. I should be able to undo any time that I'm not seeing new information. Okay, that's a good amount of... We're going to push it back there. Maybe this is a bad idea, but... Because it's now going to summon one into here. Oh well. So I'm going to force you to join our team so that all of you attack each other. I think this is a pretty good time to use that. And... Let's make the attack against you. Yep, with the poison. Okay, that's, that's exactly what I didn't want. And now I'll make the attack against you again. I think I want to use everything I've got. Because... Why? Because we just have you to contend with next round. Let's do it. Good. And we have... Uh, we have Phantasmal Killer. Okay. Okay. 
Well, we've gotten rid of one, so that's not bad. Ah, you're kidding! Well, then, they will surely be trying to kill that. Does that make any sense to you at all? Why is it moving over here to attack? It should be attacking this. And then why didn't you attack? Oh, because, okay, well, hold on. So this attacked first, so then it ended its turn. Is that how that card says? For its turn this round, not for the round. So why did this one not move and attack then? Because it was immobilized. So I think what I should have done is looked at the numbers. This one's a two, this one's a five. Put it on the five so that they all would attack each other. Eh, okay. And now we're stuck there. Well, yeah, I learned learning a lot here. So from where I'm standing, that's not going to be good. We need to move up to here. And then I can make an attack against all of that. Learning a lot. Oh, disk space. And I'm back. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> I thought my computer was about to crash. It just said uh, that I was low on disk space, but I've put a band-aid on it for now. That I can't deal with that at the moment. All right. So I just did Darkened Skies. I killed that enemy. This one is down to one health, four health, five. Okay. Good hit. Good hit. I'm I'm sorry that I missed it. Is there anything I'd like to do? Two card or four turn four cards means two turns. Maybe I should have used my Oh no, I think I just did. I did use the power potion there. Okay. Uh no, let's end your turn. Ooze's turn is going to bring someone in there, but they're both just two health, that's fine with me. Round 10. Uh, spiked armor seeing red. And the only thing we have to worry about here or think about is the frost demon. We have... Well, we've messed up quite a bit. So we have ice out, but frozen mind is here. And we have phantasmal killer. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's I think what I should do with with her is just move over here uh, she, she doesn't have her we could use scurry to get that chest but I don't like that idea and then I don't have a loot option with you now would be a good time to loot and just move away because all of them uh, will probably just end up leaving you behind Expose, solid bow, impending end. Let's use solid bow and expose. We'll go early with you, and then with you, um, we'll kind of use all of this other stuff. Let's use perverse edge, actually. And scurry. Nope, nope, okay. But not anymore. And these things have a retaliative quite a bit. Oh, I can't move. That's right. That is right. So we're skipping and I can't attack anything. It's kind of weird that we can't attack them. I don't know. I, I don't... 
I don't understand the story behind this quest, so uh, we'll use this to move over here and pick up some more loot, and then we'll make that attack. Nice, nice hit. I think I want to get that card back so that I can come over here to make uh, to to get this chest, but I think it's too. I don't know if I'll be able to kill both of them and get that. So maybe. And I've already used her stamina potion, so we're gonna have to take our time in this room, I guess. Uh, this will be our second chest. I assume there's a chest in here and then in there. So I'm not I'm not too worried, but it's kind of. Uh, this chest might be the hardest one to get. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you this way, but I'm not going to make this attack. Nope. Skip the attack. Let's make this attack with that. Well done. Alrighty. We don't have to worry about any of theirs. Round 11. She's going to take a long rest so that I can get that wound off. You. I think it would be good to get Shared Nightmare and Brain Leech. We'll be able to do some fun stuff with that again. And we'll go with these two. Okay, so attacking here... And, okay. Eh, we, we should be okay here, though. Let's do this. I'm not going to use this because you might be... Oh, before we do that, undo, undo, undo. We'll do this attack first. I will use... Uh, yeah, I will use Phantasmal Killer. Uh, I think you are the one that will drop loot, so I'll at least kill you. Confirm? Yep. And then this one is the... Another thing that would be really cool to see is... Are you spawned, summoned, or just the... the like, this says monster there. If it said spawned monster or summoned monster, that's something I'm definitely going to bring up. Uh, let's make these two attacks at strengthened. Huh. Super. I guess we're killing everything. And I was kind of thinking of using this for those two, but you've already handled it, so we'll make that attack. And it doesn't matter what we do because he had ten, two health left over. We'll use this. Let's pick up as much gold as we can. Uh, we'll move toward the door. Skip. And skip. Good. We get to heal back here. Take a long rest. And I'm thinking seeing red might be a good one to keep. Devil's horns. Let's get rid of devil's horns. I don't think I don't think I'll be in that situation at this point. I don't think so. Uh, end your turn. Okay, round 12. Definitely shiny distraction. And I think I'm just going to have her move to here. So we'll go shiny distraction and just like a move to... Uh, spiked armor might be good, though bounce back might be nice too. I think I'm going to keep it for the top ability. So let's, eh, let's use it. Let's use this. We'll just get that move two from here because I don't want to use like a move three for a move two. So we'll use it for this and all these other ones I'd really like to use for another ability. 
Uh, as for you, we'll take a long rest. That can get rid of that. And, oh, long rest. Okay. Good. Uh, nope. Is it you? Well, we'll see here in a minute. Uh, professional. You've only used three of your items? Huh. Well, we gotta, we gotta get through these then. Uh, we'll use this and this, and then we'll be able to use this to use another one again. So that's four, five, six, seven, and then it's just a matter of using... Uh, the steam armor or endurance foot wraps or volatile bomb. To, yeah, well, we should be fine. Heal, we'll get rid of that wound. I think wild command is a good one to burn. End your turn. Mind thief, get rid of that. Poison, you need to loot a chest. So we need her to be the one that loots a chest sometime very soon. Ugh, and I didn't do it again. See, uh, Brain Leech. I feel like Brain Leech might be a good one to, to use. Though... I don't know what else I would be using here. Or dropping. Eh, Brain Leech it is. Round 13. So we'll start off at 23 with Apollo. Uh, Flight of Flame for a move of 5. That should 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get him to the door and then camouflage. Though I'm not sure. If there's a trap somewhere, he might be taking it again. So I don't know. Another thing... Oh, you know what? Another thing, maybe I should use this instead. Maybe I should... Whoops. Maybe I should use this instead to pick up... No. No. We'll go with camouflage. So, he's gonna... He's gonna open this door, potentially. Maybe just stand on something and then go invisible. Maybe make an attack. I don't know. 37... We'll see how far we get to go with that amount of movement. I'd like for, if there's a trap again, I'd like for it to be gone so that she can just run all the way through. Uh, potentially careless charge all the way through this room. And then 39, corrupting embrace and scurry. So I'm, I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe this was uh, a way of making us think that this is like it's a trick or maybe it's not maybe this is just showing what's about to come into there so i don't know we're we're gonna see we're gonna open this door with you yeah so there's nothing here and there's a trap and there's a uh, an obstacle wonderful uh the thing is way back in there let's see you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She could have ten movement. And then you would have seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four is what we could do. We could jump over all of this again. Interesting. It is very interesting, because I also need to pick this chest up, and I don't know who that's going to be. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to do this. You reach the fort center, with a stack of old journals under your arm. Scanning the floor, you see one more book lying precariously close to a flame demon. You also notice, however, an altar in the middle of the room, slowly pulsing with an odd energy. You study it for a second, 
realizing that it seems to be pulsing at the same frequency that the building is oscillating between planes. Perhaps if you could destroy it, you could ground the fort in your own plane. We have to destroy? I'm not sure I understand. It doesn't have a... Uh... I assume by picking up these that it's going to destroy it. But... So I don't know... I don't know here. Confirm... Oh, the heal. I see. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have that, but it, it keeps helping me. So I, we'll see who we can and can't attack, but again, some sort of hint at what group can it, it is going for this particular... Wow, look at that. This is... I mean, this is pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Uh, I can't use a volatile bomb in this situation. I will go invisible, so they will not be moving. Well, they'll move to here, but their jump isn't going to be able to get through. And then that one can go one, two, three, and then make an attack at one, two, three. But it's going to go first, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's make the attack against one of these. All right. Not bad. Go invisible. And... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A move to jump. So if I put you here, you're going to go into the trap. Yes, you are. You should, anyway. Uh, that is actually too late, though. <laughs> because I might be I might be all the way up here. But maybe I just don't, you know? Maybe we just pile up right here and wait for wait for them to take the trap. I'm going to I'm going to say okay. You better do what I want you to do. So the Berserkers turn one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we'll do we'll do it this way. One, two, three. And then so this way I won't take any damage. Skip. Uh, and then one, two, three, four. End your turn. And in your case, we're just going to do this. Skip and move to here. Skip, skip, end. <sighs> Why? Why? Why did it do that? There's an obstacle here. No, that's that's a bug. That has to be a bug. It should have ended its turn on the trap so that it would be able to make that attack. Now, it is an at uh, a damage of six, right? But I still think that that should have ended its turn on the trap. All right. Uh, anyway, let's let's go early with you. They're not going to move. All we have to do is worry about that flame demon, and we have to pick up that chest. And I would like it. I need it to be, or I would like it to be. Uh, well, actually, she could go and pick this up. She doesn't necessarily need to be over there. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, but yeah, we do we do need to worry about you. What's what do we do? Expose for sure and swift trickery. That's an attack of six with an expose of two or pierce two. So that would make this an attack of four. All right. 
and then it's your turn. There's really not much to do. So I think what I'll do is I'll use this to make an attack against that at least. Oh no, I can't. I can't do anything. So I'm going to use Frozen Mind to, to make it move into that. Uh, and we're just going to stand here. I'm going to heal up a little bit. And I'll use Seeing Red. Nope, I won't. Well, there's not much I can do here. So, I think I'm just going to send you all the way into here. And then, in the next round, I'll take a short rest. I'll take a short rest to get Scurry back, and then I can just use this. But I really don't want to... That's six damage. No. You know what? Undo. Uh, I'm not going to do anything here. Skip. And skip. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> really, thanks. What a jerk. What a jerk. Alright, well, that was... Maybe that was worth it. Uh, I think I'm gonna... One, two, three, four, five... I think I want to use this to get a couple cards back and then get Flight of Flame so that he can just go back there. I'm going to not do that. We'll, we'll maybe do that later. Um, I'm going to do this. Skip my movement. Heal up a tad. And then we'll use this to skip. But I will heal up a little bit more. This was kind of a cluster. This thing messed up. It That had to be a bug. Uh, long rest. I'm going to do this and I'm going to have, I'm going to make you move into that trap. And you will go with, uh, solid bow and feral instincts for this. Cause I can get it back. Yep. Okay. So I'll have you move. Right there. And then this, I can't, I can't see anybody. That's okay though. We'll end your turn. Whoops. I meant to take a, that'll be okay. That'll be okay. We've got another turn anyway, so. Let's go back here. What are you doing anyway? All right. We've got plenty of health. I'm fine with that. We'll make this attack. I'm just going to use the Volatile Bomb. Just because it's an item, I need to use items. There. That's good enough. Because I'm not going to be able to attack both of them at the same time anyway. So I'm going to use the Major Stamina Potion now to get Feral Instinct so that I can use that to pick this up. And... I don't know, Flight of Flame, sure, whatever. And I think I'll do this to get Doomed Compass back. And I'm going to use the Doomed Compass right now. I guess I could have done it with that, but that's fine. You're dead. You're dead. Uh, that and that. So that should be. If it's not, then it's then it's very close. Uh, strength and arm uh, agony is good to go. We can heal again. 
Keep healing. Oh, end your turn. Round 16. So I need... I need her to take a short rest. I can take the short rest now. That's okay to drop. Um, but I do need to put her over here. So we'll go like this and... A shared nightmare. So that's one, two, three. Actually, I can do that. Uh, we can jump over there and shared nightmare to make an attack against this. It has exposed or pierce two on it. You, I want to. I'll use impending end and fresh kill. We just have to worry about that thing. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Shiny Distraction and Careless Charge. We've got everything going against that Flame Demon. So, this first. Uh, to here. Skip the rest. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna fix this one. So she didn't make the attack. That's fine though. Uh, we still have two more big attacks going against it. Ah. We're just gonna make the attack. I'm not too worried about the the push or anything like that. Oh my goodness. Whatever. <laughs> it's stunned, so... That's helpful. Uh, we'll use this, and it doesn't matter what I pull this time. Because it would have been dead, it had two health left. And then I'll use that to... I don't know, that'll just stay right here. Spiked armor, seeing red, we'll just move over here to make that attack. I might... No, you know what? Let's... Let's short rest with her. And I'm gonna redraw, because I want... I want to take some more loot. You are going to just do this to steal a bunch of loot. And then I could have you move over there... I'll use this still, move over here to make this attack. We'll go a bit later. Because maybe? Yeah, we'll do that and that. All right. Uh, this, to loot, everything. You're too far away for that to work. That's too bad. Uh, I will put this on you so that when you make the attack, it'll be a little bit more. You have that poison, so it'll be an attack of four. And then we can move up. Skip the rest of that movement. Make this attack. Good. And loot that chest. And you've used professional, which is awesome. Now it's your turn. Move over here. Oh, yeah. And then we'll loot the rest of the loot. So it picked up all the loot after... Well, there's a couple loot back there, too, but... Uh, one, two here, four, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a lot of money just sitting around, but I, I did a little bit better about it back here. We'll skip that and we'll end it here. You grab the last book and then smash the altar. In a bright flash, all the monsters are sucked into another plane, and the fort falls silent, no longer fading in and out. You gather all the books and head back down to the ground floor to study them. 
They're mostly useless, but one of the books is exactly what you are looking for. A journal of a young girl who was in the fort when it was changed. The text is old and the pages crumble, but you are able to make out some of the details. The girl, Eva, and many others fled from their city of Eastport when a horde of demons invaded. She expresses some confusion over exactly where the demons came from, but the details of the many horrors she witnessed are very clear. Many of her friends were torn apart or eaten alive. One of the head researchers of Eastport's academy gathered all the survivors he could find and fled the city, hoping to hide out in this fort. When it was clear that the demons had followed them and they had nowhere else to run, the researcher sent them all down to the hidden basement and attempted to perform an interplanar ritual to save them. You close the journal. He wanted to escape the demons by transporting the entire fort to another plane, but it's evident that one way or another, the ritual went horribly wrong. The only thing left to do is investigate this hidden basement. Okay, well, Berserker did a lot of work. Damage done, 69. Doomstalker, also 69. Uh, Mind Thief, 37. Hmm. Gold piles looted, 9, 5, 4. Can't complain about that. And everybody got their perk. Twelve XP and the Pit of Souls, which is what we will do the next episode, uh, and it's linked to, so we will not be returning back to Gloomhaven uh, this time, and we won't be picking up a uh, uh, road event, which is going to help us. All right, well. Not bad. A couple tiny mistakes that didn't hurt us too badly in the end. Uh, we just need two more. Nice. I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention to that. We picked up a perk point for him, so I might as well just spend it. Lacerate. Lacerate. Cool. So when we go back to Gloomhaven, we'll see that this is. I mean, it says five, so I think it was four at the beginning, but it won't it won't uh, register until we get back there. Uh, same thing with that, and this one we just have to do this, and we'll be done, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't see why not. Okay, well that'll do. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like or a comment. As always, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you next time.
There is no...
Hail moves forward. Hail. 